Hello everybody, welcome back. And today's little knot is, I don't know. I really don't know what it's called. As you know, I'm on a knotting journey and in my knotting journey, I'm learning new knots. And as I learn those new knots, I do videos to show you how they're tied. Now, with this particular knot, I was online doing a bit of research and I accidentally stumbled across this knot. And as you'll see, the video, it should appear just there. And so as you can see, it's not in English and I do not speak any other languages as such very well. And so therefore, I really cannot understand what he's saying in the video. And what I will do is at the end of this little video, I will put that clip at the end of that video. So if you do speak that language or know what this knot is, please leave me a comment down below. Tell me if you know this knot and what name it is. OK, would love to know about it a little bit more. So do leave a comment down below and we'll get on and chat about this knot. OK, so that's the intro over with as such. But why do I like this knot? Well, first of all, it's a fairly secure knot to actually tie or a hitch to tie around an object. And so as you can see, this is my standing end. Here is my working end. And so it, it would be great as a quick release knot, a bit like the bank robbers knot. Um, it's quick release and but it's so easy to tie. It's just a couple of movements and you've tied this thing. And the other great thing about this little knot is that it is quick release, but it's also quick release with a slight. I like this one for this reason. When you release it. So in other words, when I get hold of my working end here, I just pull out the bite at that point there. A little bit stiff there. And as I pull it out, you can see now. This is actually falling to pieces and if I pull a bit harder, it com comes off completely and I'm not left, say for example, when you undo some, you end up still with a turn around the object itself. So anyway, without further ado, let's get on and let's get knotting. Right, so to tie this little knot is easy. I love it. I love this little knot. It's so easy to tie once you get the hang of it. OK, so as you can see, I've got my cordage in front of me and that is my working end. My working end is going to my right hand side and my standing end is coming towards me. Right. So the first thing that we do is we just bring the working end and the standing end together like that to form a bite. OK, so we formed a bite there and what we do is we pass that bite underneath our stanchion and then the next thing that we do is we form a second bite so you can either bring that over and pull your cordage through like so or at this point here you form another bite and you pass that bite through the first bite and then just pull on your cordage to bring it together like so so it's almost like a, um, a cow hitch at the top here now my working end is on the right hand side and my standing end is the left hand side. The next thing that I do is I bring my working end round over my standing end, take it over my standing end, pass it underneath my standing end. And so we're locking that bottom one in place. And then the next thing I do is just form another bite in my working end here and I pass that bite through the original bite that we created there. And now that is almost locked in place. The next thing that just leaves us to do is we get hold of our standing end and we just pull up on our standing end and it draws everything up nice and tight. Dress it up smartly and there we have it. We have now tied that knot. And then as I pull on that, it will actually tighten itself. Just dress it up a bit smarter. It will tighten itself nicely around the stanchion and we've got a fair bit of working end here, which here we have it, as the Australians like to call it, the exploding hitch. So when we pull our working end, it all comes undone. But because I've got a fair bit of working end left over, what I can do is just pass it through that loop there 
and what we're doing is we're actually locking it so it can't accidentally come undone but all I want to do if I want to undo this one all I do is I pull on my working end and as I pull on my working end it's just because I've pulled up on a bit it's a bit tight and you can see now here it just breaks loose and all I do is just keep pulling and it's fallen off and that's it it's as simple as that and it just comes undone so easy so anyway here is now the original video that I found it from and if you know what he's saying or if you actually recognize this knot please do leave me a comment down below and let's have a discussion about this one and also how good is this knot I haven't tested it at all is it a really good knot to know so anyway once again thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time bye bye